Absolutely. The best time of year for college football recruiting fans out there. January 5th, you have the Under Armour All-America game. February 2nd, you have National Signing Day. Means a lot of work from us here in Recruiting Insider, but you get to enjoy it all at home. Mo Galindo here with our football guys, Craig Hobart and Tom Luganville. We say how exciting this part of year is for us. Think about the California Golden Bears. Jeff Tedford coming off his first losing season at California, and in a span of 24 hours, he lands three prospects from the ESPNU 150. Let's start with Todd Barr, the number three defensive tackle in that 150. Yeah, you know, everybody knows Jeff Tedford recognizes him for the ability to coach and evaluate quarterbacks, but how about defensive linemen? Todd Barr is a really quick and explosive stalwart from his tackle position. He's got an explosive initial first step, and you know what? You look at Cal this year, outside of their loss to Nevada, they did not allow more than 17 points in a single game all year long, so defense isn't the problem, and obviously Cal knows how to recognize defensive linemen when they see it. Yeah, Barr, a great fit, undersized defensive tackle in that 3-4 scheme. That's also why I like Jason Gibson for Cal. I think he's an outstanding fit in that 34 front. He's a defensive end, outside linebacker, tweener in their 3-4 scheme. He'll play outside linebacker, great pass rusher. You know, Avery Walls isn't an enigma, if you ask me. He's a, he's a safety player in a corner-type body, and he brings that same tough, rugged, uh, striking type of personality as a hitter, yet he's got some cover skills. And it's interesting, the two quote-unquote academic institutions in the Pac-10 both have quality prospects now from the state of Georgia. James Vodders, obviously, for Stanford. Now Avery Walls at the corner safety slash hybrid position. I like this pickup for Cal. This is an impressive group of three players to add to the, to, to add to the fold for the Bears. Well, you guys mentioned it's not just the traditional powers out there like USC, UCLA, stealing all these prospects in the Pac-10. How are programs like California being able to have this kind of success out there off the type of season they have? Well, it begins with good recruiters. Cal has got a good staff of recruiters. If you think about how they finished up the 2009 recruiting class, pulling in players like Keenan Allen, this is a staff that goes out Excuse me, and they work very hard at it. Plus, an institution like Cal, you go out there, you set up relationships, you also sell education. There's a lot there to bring to the table. Walls is a guy also out of the state of Georgia. Said Georgia, Georgia Tech, they didn't recruit him. He found a good home on the West Coast. Maurice Harris is out of North Carolina. They stole Brandon Bigelow from Washington this week. It has been a huge week for Jeff Tedford coming off of a disappointing season on the gridiron. And Craig mentioned how they closed last season, ended up with the number 15 recruiting class overall to this point. Still outside of the top 25, but still some ground to be made now. Made, made be made up for the California Golden Bears. Ladarius Brown, the number 16 wide receiver nationally out of Waxahachie, Texas. He's on his way to play for TCU, and he picks the Horned Frogs over a power out there in the Big 12 